Hey there, YouTubers. It's Mr. Zero of Mr. Zero's Tower Ride. Coming at ya! <laughs> um, it's been almost exactly a month, probably about a little bit over exactly a month since I did my last video. And, uh, I keep scratching myself because I'm itchy and I don't know why. But it's been, since it's been such a long time, I feel like I should make a video. And, um, so I've got a few announcements to make. What with it being a new year and everything. Um, sort what I've been doing for the last 30 days, you may ask. Um, holiday stuff. All the parties and everything that goes on with that. Had my room ransacked during one holiday party. But, ah, things are getting better slowly. I'm lifting this incredibly heavy laptop. To show you, this is my crazy room. Slowly coming together. And then you will... Oop, there's my... There's the clown that I painted on the wall. All by myself. And uh, soon I shall be doing clowning videos in this room. Uh, so I can get more clown videos done. And, uh... Yeah, that's, that's what I've been busy with. I, I've just been trying to get this room organized. And... Um, you, you, I don't think I'd shown any video footage of it before, but this room was filled with boxes. So I was like in this cramped corner. Boxes, you couldn't see it because, you know, I kept this corner nice. Just kept a few odd props here so that I could have them. But this corner was filled with, this room was filled with boxes everywhere. I found a dead centipede in my room. Don't like centipedes. Kind of one of those those bugs that when you find it's like, oh my god. It's, yeah. They're dangerous, you know. <coughs> um but other than that um Yeah, that's what I've been doing with my time trying to figure out how to make this this room work. I got a new job. I've always been gainfully employed. Since I was an adult, I've only had like a series of like three or four months jobless, usually. Um, but but um, I got myself a second job where a local salon has hired me to stand out on the corner by their business and hold up a sign saying that they have a early bird special from 9 to 11. Those are the hours I work, from 9 to 11. Holding up a sign announcing their, their sales. And yeah, that's how, that's what I do. Um, I find this very... It's like, here I am, I, I'm looking like... I, I tend to look like a hobo. I even wear my nice little hobo hat every day. I will probably start dressing in my clown garb doing the job if they will allow me to but I find it I find it funny that there's not much difference between me doing this job and getting paid for it or standing out with a cardboard sign saying anything helps the only difference between that the job I do and that job is that um, I make an hourly wage whereas someone that's holding an anything helps or what have you sign most of them say God bless because 85% of the people in this nation are Christian. Um, uh, they work solely on commission, those people. And more power to them. I don't, I don't have a problem with beggars at all. Um, especially if they have very, a very creative sign. I really like that. You're more likely to, you, well, you, you could very well get a dollar from me. If you catch me at the right time and I have a dollar in my possession, that's the tricky part is me having the actual money and being able to afford to just divvy out a dollar. I will probably give it away. This is my beard. I've been growing my beard since probably sometime in September. So September, October, November, December. September, October, November, December. Five months. Working on the sixth month beard. It's very scraggly looking to me. <sighs> Wish I could grow like a nice, handsome, 
you know, good black colored thick beard. So when I put on my white lipped hair, it's a good, you know, hobo looking kind of deal. But oh well, it is what it is. I'm of Irish, English, French, German stock. And uh, this is what I get, I guess. So I look a little bit like. I feel like I look a little bit like Ron Moody as Fagan. I'm reviewing the situation. Ooh. I don't know why I did that. So at any rate, with the new year and the new job, I also want to make a new resolution, and that is to try to make at least three videos a week from next... from. I don't have time to make three videos this way. From next week on up until the same time next year. So it'll be it will be one eleven two thousand fourteen when I will say I have succeeded or I have failed. And uh, uh my sisters have done similar things. They've done they did a sisters who video. If anyone that watches this knows Sisters Who, Squirrely Tonks, I can't remember what my old, older sister, her YouTube page is, but they, they successfully, I think, did their collab and uh, haven't been able to get it back up again. But I used to watch them because it was the only way I could keep in contact with my family, really. I've got family in California, family up in northern Utah. I have family. That's about it. California, Northern Utah. They're just not here. I'm I'm the one that's still in in the Salt Lake Valley of Utardia. That's kind of a weird thing to think about because I am the one least um LDS in my family. I'm kind of the black sheep for that. Um go see go saw. So whatever. Um so that's my goal. I'm rambling on. By the way, if you can't tell by looking at my eyes, I'm I'm quite tired. This oddly having this job is kind of throwing my schedule off and it's making me really tired at night. Um this is the latest I've been up without having a nap in the middle of the day for this whole week. I've been going to bed at like 11 or lying down at 11 or 12 and just zonking out. But it is what it is. That's, it's okay. I'm, I'm taking time to share with you, my friends of YouTube. You know, sometimes I do things I say quite eccentric, my friend. Sometimes I look in the mirror and I say, What's wrong with me? Look at this beard. Look at this face. Look at this body. I'm not in shape. I should get in shape. But I'm not going to try and get in shape for the new year. No. No. I'm I'm one person that's not. I've seen a few joggers out and I'm like, they're only jogging because it's uh, because of the new year. They want to get all gung-ho and by the middle of the month, they'll be like, yeah, I hate New Year. Yeah. Well, while well, I've got a captive audience, and I really don't have a captive audience, but while I have anyone watching this video, I might as well show you something that I was able to dig out because I've been cleaning up stuff and uh, collecting all my old garbage around. Check this out. I've got a friend with me in the studio. Come on up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hi-ho. This is Kermit the Frog. How you doing, YouTube? Huh? If there's Kermit the Frog on the video, uh, it's going to get, it's going to go viral, so... Uh, let's have him on here for a second. Okay? Oh, he's not even making eye contact with you. Oh, hi! Hi, there you are. Oh, wait, wait. Let's try to get his eyes focused right. Mm-hmm. Hi. Hey, hey, you. Oh. Oh, you're kind of cute. Hi. Oh, uh, 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 you, sir. You, uh, do you think it's a good time to be having a snack? I mean, really? It's, it's, it's midnight, okay? Okay, um, uh, good night, sir. And you, I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye.
That's like the best impromptu come of the frog humor I can come up with this time of night. I'm not that great with Kermit, you know. I haven't I haven't played with that puppet since the millennium, maybe. Bits and pieces. I don't even you know want know why I bought. But I still have Juliet. Hello, I'm Juliet. Oh, mama. That's Juliet, as you might. Those of you who watch my clown videos. I'm gonna talk about Billy now, cause hey, who the heck for, or not. This is Billy Baloney. Now, anyone that's watching this video that can recognize this guy, and this is a Billy Baloney puppet from uh, Pee Wee's Playhouse. I was a huge fan of Pee Wee's Playhouse as a kid. Really disappointed when it got taken off the air. And when I was adult enough to know why it was taken off the air, I was really even more disappointed. Not at Paul Rubens himself, I mean, but like everything. This cost me a pretty penny, I think like $30. Um, if you look on eBay, you can find them again. And they'll sell for even more, especially now that Pee Wee Herman's kind of coming back. Um, he just did that Broadway show, and it was a good, perfectly good Broadway show. A lot of rehashing of his old Broadway show. But this is the uh, Billy Baloney licensed doll from Pee-Wee's Playhouse, and uh, I perform with him in my clown videos. Pee-Wee Herman gave him a kind of, oh, hi, uh, but he's kind of snooty, when I was a young baloney, and I don't want to sit there and do that voice, so instead I do uh, just a regular, hi, I'm Billy, I'm very, very boring, huh. And that's, I bought him because I was looking, I wanted a ventriloquist puppet, and um, this was the cheapest one I could get. And I think, I think, you know, I really like one that's like not that fancy. And his eyes move, and his jaw moves, and I think that's all I want. Um, his jaw works by gravity, there's a little trigger inside his little control section here. He's got a little thing that controls his eyes, and then a little trigger that when you push on it, it closes his mouth, and letting go opens his mouth. So most ventriloquist dummies I've come to understand, it's the opposite. You push the trigger to open the mouth, and its spring action closes it. But this is... Uh, what What is with ventriloquist puppet's name? Billy, anyway. There's Billy Baloney, there's Billy from Saw, and there's Billy from... Uh, dead silence. So, I'm going to end this video now, and then I'm going to talk about dead silence and stuff. Not dead silence, but I'll do another video. But thanks for watching. This is my first video of the new year, and if you've watched this far, congratulations. Message complete.